hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you notice the difference in the camera quality and of course the mic in front of me which is a professional podcasting mic that i bought recently for my future recordings for the podcast that i have with my uh, friend and colleague cad i also plan to do a lot of collaborations online with other creators so i really wanted and needed this uh, mic In today's video I'm planning to do a bit of on-page SEO and I will bring you with me on behind the scenes of what I do when I do uh, on-page SEO for my clients when they need SEO for um, their business, online business. Usually I have a whole checklist but today we are going to just work on the website that I'm building for a template. Um, this is the Jade Bijou, uh, Bijou website that I'm going to later uh, create as a downloadable, transferable website template where you can adjust and use as you see fit. Uh, on that note, uh, the content can be uh, changed and um, edited, redesigned as you wish, but what I want you to have in mind is that I have used a um, responsive uh, wireframe from Wix Studio and I have created a layout based on common design practices and UX best practices as well. And I will improve the website in the current few weeks and I will be making it ready for using and today I wanted to work a bit on it, but also make it as an educational um, video. Let's start with the uh, site content. That's one of the parts where you can improve your SEO by including uh, quality content on your website. For example, here we have uh, a here section with um, a heading which leads with subheading and a call to action button to the actual shopping page down further we have uh, the categories which are the main categories earrings necklace and uh, rings and bracelets these are all keywords that are very uh, well distributed also uh, by including some storytelling on your page works very well with um, google and their search engine because they really how to say value and appreciate when websites are handcrafted and created by humans they also can detect ai generated content and may or may not push it uh, lower in the rankings also what is important is if you have a already ongoing uh, blog on your website and it's included somewhere in the web pages that can also boost your rankings as a business on the search results and uh, it's very important important to be consistent with your content creation because that brings new and new keywords and rankings of your business since you are showing up online consistently keywords we mentioned site content now it's time to talk about the title tags i'm going to show you what's that then the meta descriptions we're going to discuss the headers the urls internal linking very important external linking how many other web pages are you referring to the quality of the images the images themselves and the alt text on the images and the description of the images, user engagement, how engaged you, uh, you keep your user with your content and the storytelling, as I said, the page speed, that's also part of the SEO. You would think it's not, but it is because how fast your uh, website reacts to human interaction is really important. Okay, let's start with the on-page uh, SEO. Uh, we are going here to go to pages and open the home page. Here uh, is the preview on Google. Okay, one of the things that you can um, have as a checklist and to remember is to write unique and helpful content. That means that if your users or customers have questions, it's better for you if you answer them on your website. Via case studies, via frequently asked questions, any way that you can think of, you can do that and help them find you faster. 
where should you put your uh, keywords strategically it's better to put them in your uh, headings or h1s also subheadings and paragraphs and important first few second loaded text and now step three uh, write uh, keywords rich title tags we are here and we are going to optimize this um, title for example here it says home video jewelry it's recommended to use 55 to 65 characters to briefly describe the topic of this page but what we can put here is either keep the home or just maybe put something like so we can put Jane Biju jewelry from artisans for environmentally conscious minimalists. That's one one way to go about it. Uh, also, it is a good idea if I saw it correctly. Let's see. Oh, they lose. They use uh, the normal sentence case. Okay, but but usually um, the style of writing this is to be capitalized. Let me show you how. I usually use this generator here for title case. Now we need a meta description or description that will show up in the search results. Usually that's something that gives more information what the page is about. Let's see what they uh, suggest. It's recommended to use 155 to 165 characters to summarize this page. Hmm. Either going to pull any um, content that the search engine finds useful from your web page or you can suggest what can show up. Handmade jewelry, minimalistic design, necklace, high quality accessories, offer and website. I have added all this and it's around 244. Sim I think and it's fitting the actual um, minimal requirements. Part of SEO is also the social share where people share content from your websites and what they see outside of the website as a sharing thumbnail and description and title is an important part. So let's choose a picture. We can, it's good to have the logo in there probably somewhere, but for now, we are going to just pick something. Okay, that's our social share and it uh, can be changed anytime you want. The title also can be a different one from the one that appears in the SEO results. See, create a catchy description for this page on social media. Keep your description under 500 characters. Something important to note is that SEO changes need time to be fed to the uh, search engine and also uh, some time to be recognized as changes on the website. So after you hit publish, it will take some time until it starts working. So this here uh, is the URL. Usually you can change it, f change it for other pages. And here when I click to go to URL, it shows up here. This is the main page. And this is how it's going to be named. Now let's proceed to the other pages. Here is the meta description for uh, this page. We're going to keep it minimalistic with this uh, photo with some e earrings and um, the name of the page plus the name of the business. I think uh, having it in the British and American writing is good, although for consistency it might be considered misleading, but um, you never know what type of uh, customer you're gonna get landing, so uh, it's better to have the two versions. Now for the about page, we have here a blank URL, which usually Wix doesn't take care of. Um, these are the pages that were already created from before, from Wix template with the wireframe. This about I added and we have a few more pages that we have to think of shop and contact. So we have to rename this about here. I'm going to include the rephrased uh, meta description. I'm going to make it also shorter because as you remember, the advice was to be maximum 165. So we're going to keep it a little bit 
longer but still in the that kind of range if you didn't know in Wix when you want to have um, the picture in your gallery you can adjust it a little bit like slightly crop or something and when you click save it will appear it should appear in our media in a way it kind of becomes our photo so let's see if that worked Ta-da! We can use the photo now as part of our media. For the contact, the meta description, uh, foster connections with Jade Buju, I would change this to you have a questions. I like to use questions and more conversational and real life uh, phrases uh, in uh, SEO because you never know in that copy who is going to resonate with what you have written. Changing the social share image to this engagement ring because most of the time people that we're targeting are buying a jewelry for an event. Okay, we have chosen the social share image. We change the URLs and also the meta description, the title tags. What's next? Another way to ensure a good on-page SEO is to make sure that you have H1 as a starting of uh, your page, then a subheading or paragraph, and then H2, and keep the hierarchy of headings and subheadings. Something I haven't done yet is to have um, a good internal linking, which means whenever you mention some information that can be in on another page, it has to have a good link directing the user towards that uh, page. Also, it is very good for SEO if you include external links, for example, an article where your business was mentioned or maybe a post on social media where you show how you work on your process. It's also good to uh, link external links um, to other businesses that you may have collaborated on with and so on and so on. Now my favorite topic is optimized images and let's see how we can optimize this image to be SEO friendly. For example, we have here settings and display mode. What happens if the image is clicked? Nothing. But here where is the alternative or alt text it should be a description of what is in the image. Which means that people who have um, poor vision or are blind and are using screen readers or their connection as users is very weak and the image cannot load that alternative text will uh, give them some kind of idea what is the image about. Search engine and accessibility tools can't see images, but they can read alt text. Add description to, the imp to improve your site's SEO and accessibility. For example, here we will say single full nude on a female female supermodel profile. This one we can say female model with three golden rings on her fingers. And when we refresh the page and we want to find that image and here when we click accessibility, the section has a Native American pattern which is the name of the file. But I'm looking for the file inside the grid. I, I didn't save it, wait, 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 I have to publish it. Okay, now after I published it, uh, let's check it live and let's see if the alt text is actually available now on the image. See, female model with three golden rings on her fingers. That's what is a part of the... The title is not specified. I think that's the name of the file. Anyway, the point here is the more information you include for your images from their file name, their alternative text, tags, anything that can help more users to have a better idea without seeing the image, the better for your business and SEO rankings. Improving the user engagement in general can be done with improving the user experience on your full website. From the structure to the storytelling to the offers that you have from the copywriting, 
animations, interactions, everything. Consider everything when we talk about user engagement. Call to actions, the keywords that you're using, the examples that you're giving, the problems that you're solving, everything it is important. Having a good information architecture is also very useful for SEO as well as including a sitemap. If you can generate that through your content management system, it's good. Also, to uh, track your SEO score, you can use Wix Wiz here on their platform, which is having a full checklist where you can answer and fill out the necessary questions to have a better uh, SEO rankings. For example, 0% here of the SEO setup checklist is done because I haven't done it. There are three issues with this website since it's very new. There are two recommendations and two completed tasks. One of the things that Wix will also recommend is to connect your website with Google Console so you can submit your content as fast as possible. Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, we went through the basics of on-page SEO. Next time we're going to check uh, Wix with SEO checklist and see what are the benefits of connecting your website to Google Search Console. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with a friend. See you in the next one. Bye!